so TXK Flyer came to the rescue. Because <laughs> I hadn't actually thought of this. And I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm going to find out. So on the differential ailerons, um, I went through all the trouble and figured out a way to get a, a bell crank across here that's 90 degrees like this, okay, with these two pulleys. And then, uh, of course, since the push rod's going this way, the uh, uh, push rod crank itself would also be almost 90 degrees along with these two. So it'd be like on top of them, but then it had to be able to be adjusted like 10 degrees to get my differential. So the push rod would be going where this is. And these rods would just end here. A whole lot of modification to do, blah, blah, blah. And then he said, well, you know, the hinge for the aileron, I put the ailerons back on, see, temporarily. And he says the hinge line for the aileron, there's one of them, right? Or the uh, push rod connection for it, right? So it's push, it's a pull-pull, so there's the top and the bottom's down there. And so I'm going to investigate this and see. However, uh, it's one solid piece. Okay, let me get my finger up here. It's one solid piece with the top and bottom for the two cables to hook to. Uh, so I think what he's saying is uh, if I move this 10 degrees, it'll also move it 10 degrees down there, which is exactly what this would be doing with the push rod. And uh, then I would have offset. So it looks like maybe I have to do nothing modification-wise to get my differential aileron except mess with this, with this piece of metal right here that's the hinge or the control right here, the top and the bottoms over there. And on the bottom, which is over here, a fork goes on that for the pulley. So this wing may already be set up to have adjustment for differ differential later on built into it. We're gonna find out. I know that uh, I need to pull the other rail around out so you can see it, because you can't see it now that I've installed it. But I know that the manner in which these hinges have been done, because they use, now the light's gone off in here and you can't see. It uses a piece of angle to another piece with a nut in it, in it that allows you to adjust the aileron up and down as far as being square with the wing. In and out and up and down. So it's a really nice hinge. It's stupid and it works. So I've got the aileron back on here. I'm going to put the aileron on the other wing. We're going to pull the fuselage out here. We're going to put all the old tubes back in, tighten them all down, and we're going to put this whole plane back together as screwed up as it was when we got it so that we can get a bunch of measurements and uh, try to figure out what the angle of the wing should be in relation to the fuselage. I think it's two degrees or one and a half degrees because we've got to come up with some number to use for the new tubes. Also figure out, because we're going to hook up the aileron, aileron controls to the stick, without adjusting anything to find out what aileron, defle or aileron deflection we currently has off the stick, up, down, degrees, even, not even, whatever. So that's one reason why I like posting stuff. So about every 10th comment is something viable that helps. So anyhow, gonna take this one move it bring the other wing over here get the aileron in it put it back in the stand and move the whole plane over put the whole thing back together again uh one thing i know i'm going to do though is i'm going to replace all these control cables look at this one it's got a nice bend in it there's no and, and where it's bent that's not even where a pulley goes and i think these are seven seven cables uh which are kind of th uh, stiff and I think I'm going to go to the other cable, the 7, what, 9? I think. I have to go look at aircraft spruce. Because both of these have to make 90-degree bends around a pulley. And I think you're better off with a not 7-7, seven, seven, but I don't know. But I'm going to order the cable. I've got the swage tool. I just don't have the thimbles and the uh, crush piece. I have to order those, too. So, anyhow, TX Key Flyer, we're going to try out what you said and see if it works.